Hi guys, you're here with Megan, the museum educator here at the Kalmus Museum and Archives. I'm so excited to welcome you to our newest program, Farmer's Market Fun. Today we are going to be making seed bombs. For this activity, you will need um, some clay, some potting soil or compost, and some seeds, flower seeds, grass seeds, whatever you have around the house. Um, just before we get started with our activity for today though, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge that we are located on Tecumseh State Shaquatan territory within the traditional and unceded lands of the Shaquatan Nation. Now, for this activity, um, once you get all your ingredients together, you're gonna wanna get a bowl um, of some description. I'm gonna use this clear bowl um, so that you can sort of see what I'm doing as I do it. Um, for your seeds, um, just a note, especially if you do plan to use these seed bombs in some place other than your own backyard, just make sure that you're using plants that are uh, native to Kamloops. Um, we don't want to be spreading any invasive species um, or planting things that might not grow here at all or be needing lots of water, things like that. Um, for your soil, potting soil works well. Um, if you have a compost in your backyard and you can go dig up some compost soil, then bonus points for you. Um, and feel free to use that compost soil. It will help your plants grow even better. And uh, for the clay, I've just used scrap clay that we had laying around the KMA, um, left over from some of our programs. Um, you can also buy um, like powdered clay to put into your seed bombs. And the purpose of the clay is it helps to hold the seed bomb together. Um, it also helps to ensure that moisture stays in the seed bomb. So when you're going to go out and plant these, um, you're going to want to plant them at a time when we are expecting some rain. Um, so far this summer, that hasn't been a challenge at all. So um, hopefully that will continue for the next few weeks so that you can uh, get your seed bombs into the garden or into the yard. Um, just a note on seeds as well. I know lots of people have been having trouble finding seeds, um, especially we're sort of past the growing season, uh, planting season as it were. Um, so I'm actually using grass seeds for mine. I'm gonna use grass seeds because I know they're gonna grow really well, they're gonna sprout really easily. Um, and so it will be rewarding to, to sort of put those in a pot um, or out in the yard and see them sprout. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Um, so for this recipe, it's not very exact. Um, so you can kind of do your own thing. Um, do your best though to get the ratio correct. So we're gonna use three handfuls of clay. I'm gonna do some smaller handfuls. So one, two, and three. And then we're gonna put into that five handfuls of dirt. And for the seeds, um, the recipe I saw online recommended that you put in one handful of seeds for every five of dirt. Um, but do keep in mind if you're planting something, um, like maybe you wanna do these seed bombs with like vegetables or something like that, um, they're gonna want to be spaced. So you don't wanna have to be going in after you've put your seed bomb somewhere and pulling out, um, thinning them out like that. So try to remember that um, if you're growing like a wildflower mix or something like that, a, a handful is probably okay. But if you're planting something like sunflowers, you might only wanna put one or two seeds into your seed bomb. Of course, I'm growing grass. Grass is very hardy. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put in the whole handful of seeds. Now, um, I'm going to mix this up a little bit here. And we are going for about the consistency of um, truffles or cookie dough. So um, just a very sort of loose dough that can be molded into little balls. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to start here. Just a little bit. Um, and of course you will need a tray um, or someplace to actually put your seed bombs once you've got them all mixed together. All right, so this is sort of like baking but different. Um, so you can see the consistency I've got here, it's pretty sort of a good consistency for a sand castle or maybe a mud pie. Um, this would be a great activity to do with the kids outside. Um, and once you form these into their little balls, they're gonna need to dry for about three hours in the sunshine. So maybe pick a sunny day to make these. And then you're just gonna wanna form them into little truffle sized balls. So um, about this size, I would say like that. And we'll just set them onto our cookie tray here. We'll leave them to dry. And who knows, maybe when I come back um, after the weekend, I'll have some grass seeds growing in my office. So just again, um, make sure when you're placing your seed bombs that you're placing them somewhere that uh, is not invading someone else's garden um, or anything like that. Um, 
abandoned old street corners and things like that are good. Um, or even your own backyard um, can be good as well. I know somebody came into the office the other day and they were telling me about um, a mom in Kamloops who had organized a grass growing contest for her kids. And of course, that's a great one to grow with kids because it sprouts really quickly um, and then it grows and grass is pretty hardy. So you're unlikely to uh, kill it through too much love or not enough. All right. So I'm just about done here with my seed bombs. And this one does get a little bit messy, so make sure you have somewhere to wash up when you're done. So there we go. There are my seed bombs. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let them dry, and then I will be setting them up to sprout. Thank you so much for joining me for our first episode of Farmer's Market Fun. Next week, we're going to be making mason jar butter. So for that, you're going to need a mason jar or an old spaghetti sauce jar. Any kind of jar will do. And you're going to need some heavy cream. So um, whipping cream is heavy cream, not half and half. Um, and we'll go ahead and shake, shake, shake and make that butter. Thank you so much. See you next time.